As I said, we just attended the Bennett Place uh, historic surrender. I'm not sure which one it was, but uh, you know, I know it was at least 140 something. We went to the 140th about a year ago, and when we went, you know, they had the reenactment, the uh, the reenactment of the surrender, and had uh, reenactors playing. Uh, Sherman and Johnston. It was really a good program and at that time they really didn't have like a lot of people come out for it. It was really a big event. Uh, but now with the economy the way it is, I mean there was tons and tons of people at this event. You know it was hard to get parking and it's only 1.30 now. We got there about 12.30. Stayed approximately an hour and I don't know, it was really bad. Like I said, they hadn't mowed the grass in the field where they normally set up the encampment. At the encampment, there was only one tent out there. And they had a little uh, a music troupe there, you know, of a guy with a fife and the drums and some other instrument, you know, and stuff, which was, was nice, I guess. And, and then they had a, a private band set up that does Civil War music. Um, you know, but like I said, you know, it was um, really bad. They didn't really have any costume civilian reenactors at all, which is what Bennett Place is all about. And I'm just really disappointed with this program. I mean, you know, they need to do something here. I mean, I know funding may be low, but, you know, in the years past when they put it on, it take a lot of funding. Most of these people, they're, they're reenactors, they're volunteers, and um, like I said, they should have known that, you know, with the economy the way it was and people looking for free, you know, historical entertainment and stuff that, that, that would have a really big turnout. And they just really dropped the ball on this. This place really needs some new management. Um, you know, would think that some of the, uh, the bigger wigs and the upper management and people that are over this, you know, in the state would take notice. Um, you know, but this site here is going to just shrivel up in the next few years. I mean, you know, I just don't see how it's going to maintain any interest. It's really sad, but, you know, something needs to be done uh, to preserve this history. It's certainly not being done by the management and the people that are over this now. And um, I think the best thing to do is, you know, contact, uh, you know, I don't know how good it'll do, but, you know, just people that are tired of this, contact the governor's office and, and you know, file some complaints and stuff about this because it could be a lot better. You don't have to really have a lot of money to run these sites and to put on these events. So, you know, we definitely need to do something, you know, for those of us who care about history. So, that's my two cents worth on the take. Um, post your own, you know, that's what it's all about, getting the, uh, getting the message out there. So, thank you very much, and we shall see you soon.